I think you just got air. Spoiler warning, you about to be spoiled. Gonna be spoiled, girl. Welcome to Pot Rose. I'm Annalise. I'm Canel, and you know the rules. And today we're watching The Meg. We are a go for insertion. <laughs> it's a cloud, it is not the bottom. Lori, be careful. We don't know the depth on the other side of this. The sea floor could come right up on you. The sea could come all over you. <laughs> There's always this, the sea could come prematurely before we expect it. Guys, we are through. That guy had two watches on. Oh, Stella Artois. He's getting drunk on Stella Artois. Yeah. He wasn't even asleep. It was like he, when you don't want your parents to know that you're awake and that you want them to carry you inside. He didn't want to ask for another beer, so he just pretended to be asleep. But they're right. like, we'll get him another one. Either that or they're trying to up his bill. So when he passes out, <laughs> they put in a new beer in his hand. Five hours later, he realizes he's had a sweet nap and, and is owing $500 to this little bar. Number one engine slips out of the gear and there's some leak in the hydraulics. I'll take a look at it tonight. Hey, I can't understand you. <laughs> it's Donald Trump. I don't understand hey. the word you're saying. Talking like a crazy person. You drink too much. And now you're only saying that because I literally have a beer in my hand. I've literally drank $500 worth of Stella Artois. I officially have no more money. And every time he gets drunk, he acts like Donald Trump. You're fired. Yeah. <laughs> You're fired from my boat. But people talking to me about drinking too much, that's when the problems start. The only drinking problem I have is there's not a drink in my prob in my hand. In my hands. And my I call hands. my hand the problem. My hands. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Donald J. Trump, and my hands are the problem. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. An unstoppable force, much like the Meg. All presidents have a deal with each other. We all do crimes. We all absolve each other of those crimes. Except none of them would do it for me, so I did pardon myself. <laughs> I had a bunch of guys to go to the Capitol <laughs> and make a huge distraction so that nobody was interested in everything I was doing. And I didn't even need my hands for that. You know what? I just put on a wig and put on a dress, dress up as an ugly woman. I'm a beautiful, beautiful man. Put on a but wig. But I'm an ugly, ugly woman. <laughs> it's an honor to meet you, Dr. John. I always had a tremendous respect for your work. And by work, I mean your daughter. Your daughter's beautiful. <laughs> the work you did on creating that beautiful woman, I respect it. <laughs> Can I just shake your hand? Your daughter's so hot. My daughter's not as hot as your daughter. <laughs> Closest I, I got was Ivanka. And she's... She's a pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I did pretty good. I did a pretty good but job. I... You know, it would have been better, perhaps, if she looked a little bit more like your daughter. <laughs> but Ivanka looks a little bit like me. And like as I said... A little... <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, I make an ugly woman. This happened this morning. Uh, Wrote this memo. this morning. <laughs> it's my new beat. Thought I'd bring it all the way over here. Just, just listen. Just, just tell listen. me what you just, think. I, I, I sampled some stuff at the beginning. It's a bit sampled, but... A bit sampled, but... But, but, if you keep listening, um, I think you'll hear a little bit of me. I just sampled a little bit of Kendrick Lamar's music at the beginning, middle and end, but I did put my own spin on it. For the most part. Intermittently, in that song, I'm in there a little bit. So it's gonna sound weird because I didn't really know how to separate his voice from the instrumental line. So I'm just kind of rapping over Kendrick and the music will get really quiet for like one second and then it'll come back up when it's <laughs> Kendrick's part. <laughs> I don't have access to GarageBand or anything like that. And uh, so I recorded my lines on vo voice memos <laughs> and then I just kind of like spliced it together on my phone. I actually did have to use iMovie. Did I, um, so I edited this, this song is technically, in iMovie. This is technically a video file. <laughs> Just like a listen. Yeah, my name is Billy. Mommy? Mommy? She's a mouse. Hello? Is anyone there? <laughs> my mom left me here. She left with a bunch of toys. <laughs> <laughs> my ear just zipped up. Blow out. Now this one's closed. Can you like squeeze and I go? I just did that. You don't have to crush your nose <laughs> to black the air. Try it. Go like that. <laughs> You've got big nostrils then. <laughs> Let's compare nostrils. I got long nostrils. Almost like two lines. Don't just tell anybody about <laughs> the lines. I thought I was a snake. <laughs> a snake in disguise. Are we online going to be saying that? So here's a What was that you were saying about me? <clears throat> I was just saying that I think you're a 
wizard of a person. Well, yeah, I mean. She's crying. If you're like confident in your abilities to go save these people, you shouldn't be like crying. What if the last thing you said to your kid was a lie? You're a bad person. Can you live with yourself? Oh, I guess you're dead, so. Yeah. I guess it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. He's in perfect shape. His body, he's a certified hottie. Brings out his clipboard, he's like, son of a bitch, certified hottie. This man is a daddy. Not quite zaddy yet, no. but. He's too young to be a zaddy. Even though he's not that young, I know he's not that young. young. He's like 50, but yet he looks so good that he's, he can't uh, legally be a zaddy. It makes me sick because I should be a zaddy, but I'm not even a zaddy. I'm just, and I'm not even a daddy. I'm just a guy. I'm just a dad. All I get is Father's Day. He gets he gets sex every day. Sex every day. Oh, he gets sex every day. I like don't it's even Father's get Day. Sex on Father's Day. <laughs> it's Father's Day every day for him. Speaking of Father's Day, do not forget to get your sugar daddies and your daddies and your fathers something for Father's Day. Because they all play a special role in our lives. They have an impact on us. Very much they are a father role, if not your actual father. And you know what? Let's also not forget all of the daddies and zaddies that are out there. Um, the icons that we all look up to and want. Chris Evans. Pedro Pascal, obviously. Obviously. Oscar Isaac. Um, Paul Rudd. There's someone who I like. Oh wait, I'm blanking. Tiani? He's not a daddy. He's like a fancy daddy. <laughs> You're a kind of daddy who like takes us to polo shows and rents Ooh, a yes. fancy little boat. We go horse riding we go together and then riding. we laugh at the commoners. Have a fun little afternoon playing croquet and drinking tea. Who are some other fancy daddies? It's Phoebe Waller-Bridge. <laughs> Phoebe Waller-Bridge, another fancy daddy. <laughs> she makes the top of the fancy I daddy I honestly list. would rather spend a fancy daddy day with her. March 18th, don't forget, fancy, fancy daddy, daddy day. day. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, look we, out. We see you, t Hitty. We see you too. We see um, you. We'll see you next year though. Well, <laughs> I think Leonardo DiCaprio used to be a daddy yeah. and then he just got creepy. He abused his he daddy abused privileges. It. Yeah. Because he went too far. It's like cool to be a daddy and like you can date a younger lady. Right. But I feel like you need to not flaunt it. Like yeah. you need to be like, I'm secretly dating <clears throat> my 26 year old girlfriend. Also, don't date a teenager. Yeah. That's weird. Don't date teens if you're not a teen. Yeah, only teens can date <laughs> teens. Yeah. Let's make that rule loud and clear for everybody at home. If you're not a Teen, don't date a teen. Oh, level. Oh, um, this again. This level. But that's gonna be the other alternative. He's a Jedi. Stop. This is not the topic we're gonna be talking about. Talk about my mixtape. See, sex. Well, they just smoked that shark, so I'm gonna smoke this bowl. Chum. So you, you know, taste good. Throw that chum in the water. Meat, 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 meat. Meat, 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 meat. What? Oh my God. Did he sneeze into the water? A chum! This man's not a daddy. That man's a fool. This man is a baby that needs to be saved. <laughs> Well, time to kick a little bit. You're supposed to punch a shark in the face when it's close to you. So that guy fell in the water for literally no reason. Like it had nothing to do with the rest of the story. They could have totally saved a falling off the boat for later. How many falling off the boats does this movie have? You know, let's only keep a count. the real mag in a second. Wall in the water. Mm -mm. We got the wall in the water. The guy's over in the back like, he's, he's recording it. <laughs> he's like, perfect. Got the wall in the water. Mm -mm. Got the wall in the water. Mm -mm. Got our, got our freestyle water. up there. We gonna be all right, right? Wall we, in the water, water. gonna right, right? Sit down. Wall in the water. Be humble. Thank you, Jonas. Thank you. 
Why'd you eat so much blood for lunch? <laughs> it's getting all over your shirt. Nobody offered me blood for lunch. I was just offered a $72 steak. That's not even that expensive. To me, that's like so much money, but I, I feel like that's not even that oh, much. Oh, your poor is showing. <laughs> you be out in the first place swimming in this ocean. That one ate the other one. Is another one gonna eat this one? He is spitting bars. Spitting bars. Right swimming in, in the ocean. She don't even be out here. Shark on the rise. <laughs> the other guy's like, there's more than one shark. There's two sharks. Two sharks. And two sharks. I'm gonna be all right. <laughs> was that the end of the beach scene? Yeah. Damn, that was not even long. No, it's it's pretty anticlimactic. Climactic. How would you, how'd you say it? Climactic. Climax. Anti it's not a climax. Anticlimactic. Yeah. That's what I said. You An said anticlimactic. <laughs> Climactic. Anti clip magnet. <laughs> you know who's an anti clip magnet? The guy that got pushed off the boat and eaten by the shark. He's not a baby or a daddy, he's an anti clip magnet. Yeah. <laughs> what? <gasps> what? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait for me. Wait for DJ. Uh, it's like when a dog is in the water and it can't touch, so it starts trying to kill you. You know dogs. How are you gonna kill it? Evolution. I'm gonna make this thing bleed. I'm gonna make it bleed. I'm gonna make it regret all the blood it ate for lunch. <laughs> I didn't get any blood for lunch. The shark got all the blood. And I told these people when we got on the ship, I said, hold me some blood for lunch. Don't give me that $72 stick, none of the cheap shit. She said million dollar blood. That guy had a million dollar life insurance policy. His blood, priceless. That steak, $72. $72. Almost nothing. Nothing, like I sneeze $72 and $72 within coins comes out because I keep putting them up my nose. <laughs> that's why I talk like this. I'm so congested. And that's why occasionally in my speeches you hear a slight rattling of coins. <laughs> I wonder who that might be that want to raise the minimum age of social security to It's like a ride at Universal. Can you gore the shark? I know how that shark feels. My cornea was scratched during the ACT, <laughs> like at the beginning. So like a four hour test of just like being so painfully blind. <laughs> This is a metaphor for our political climate. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know who was the real Trump of this movie? The Meg. And all these little sharks coming up. That's us. You. It's us and it's you, the American people. Yeah. And maybe everybody else. I don't think you anybody know. really liked him, so. Friends. Chicken broth. Brought you some ocean water. It's how I stay so young looking. I thought it might help you. I mean, you already look so young, but you know. Hate for you to get any older. I really hate that. Really hate that. For you, though. I hate that for you. And how I would treat you once you got old. <laughs> Dean Gio Garris and John Helper and, and Eric Hamer. Lorenzo Di Bonaventura. Adrian DeWitt. That's it.